hey hi hello welcome back or welcome to today we're going to be checking out a game that i found on itch.io called bad parenting now i know some bad parents if you know you know i also dealt with some bad parents <laughs> So this one's going to hit hard. I don't know if it is or not, but we're going to find out. Uh, this is a very short game, uh, around 20 minutes, it says. So I don't know if this is the full game or not. I know that it is wishlistable on Steam, but I found it on itch. So the story of this game, Mr. Redface, a fictional character created by adults to teach their children. It's said that he often appears late at night to give gifts to well-behaved kids. But is the story of Mr. Redface really that simple? So I'm excited. So without further ado, welcome to Bad Parenting. Story one. Oh, so I'm guessing there's going to be... Relax there. Come back to old Yazoo. Boo. Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today is my birthday. Oh, oh, of course, I know that. Then where is my gift? All right, first off, why is this kid always asking for a gift? That right there is a red flag. Um, have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? You're just going to spring that on me. On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? So like Santa Claus. Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, Mom. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Bullshit. Damn. You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? You little shit. Get back to your room. Jesus Christ. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Wow. I'm already starting off. Pretty fucked up. Relatable. Relatable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My mom's great. Let's get to bed. Nice little sleepy music. See, I didn't know this was our room. I would have explored a little more. A thunderstorm. Ruh, ruh, ray. At least I hope it's a thunderstorm. Hey, yo, was that Mr. Redface? What the fuck? Oh, shit. That is definitely a sleep paralysis demon. I actually really like the way that this is, uh, this is graphically. It's very like PlayStation, but like, almost stop motion. Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way. He gave us a voodoo doll. Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right. My master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. 
as important as that from now on. I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. You want to play something with me? Mm, my master stored my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? So we're essentially playing uh, child's play. Just with a very shitty parents. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating. But I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, we're doing some voodoo shit. Alright, let's go make food. We hungry. Alright, can we explore? It is not looking like we have much exploration. Oh, Jesus. You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Alright, so, real quick though. Those are some, uh... Big words for however old we are. We don't seem very old by our height. We got some spaghetti. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Yes, please. Alright, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. A mukbang. Is it mukbang or mukbang? It's one of the two. Wow, that's amazing. What else can you do? Why can't I look at him? That shit, I'm running. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, what just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad. Don't worry, my master is taking your dad away. What did you say? Hold on, what the fuck? I mean, you don't gotta kill the guy, though. But I'm kinda thinking this maybe won't happen. Where's my dad? As I said, my master is taking your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He's a bad person. No, he's not. Please let my dad go. I'm begging you. Alright, alright. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. So, Krampus, but rolls reversed, essentially. That's kind of what I'm getting at. You 
still can't open it. That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. Wait, why can't we open our closet though? What kind of spells did he put on it? You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. There's nothing in here. Oh, right, I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Get the radio. This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. Choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. That doesn't sound like the right one. Oh. Nature sounds. Seems like that's not it. Try again. Uh, hello there. Uh, um, that's the wrong channel if I've ever seen. Nothing. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. for my dad. Scribe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruce's here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruce's. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. And slaps too. And... That's all. The door is behind you. Is it like the naughty and nice list? This game definitely has some... Oh, hello. Dark ass subject matter though. Boo. He just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you. We're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. I don't have time right now. That's a grave. I think he might be dead. What the fuck? So I'm assuming this is like purgatory of some kind. Dan, please stop punishing me. It's me, Dan. Please stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home. And Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please stop punishing me. I mean, it does serve him right. Spell. Are we dead? Why is he kicking his feet? Why are your head doing that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken Dad. Oh. Well, that's a good thing then. I'm not joking. 
It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The doll. Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always it has stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No. I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. That's an interesting twist to bring in. We have hallucinations. But now it's like, are we actually hallucinating? Or are we hallucinating now? What the fuck? Taken. Oh, fuck. Oh. Are we dead? What just happened, son? Are you alright? Mr. Redface got me. Do you feel better now? Yeah, mom. It's Mr. Redfoot. It's alright. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off. I'll stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, mom. I promise. Now go back to sleep. Yes, mom. This is really interesting. Mom. You broke in the promise again. Damn. Master beat the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. I wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. You should run away, because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mom and dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? We found the spell. We found this in my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That's, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly, go into the closet to find where, where your mom is being held. We have the spell. You know, I'm kind of hungry though. Maybe we need to eat first. Nope. We're gonna have no energy. I'm telling ya. The cat is no longer here. The kids are all hiding. Quickly really throw the spell in here and take cover. We're ready. I guess we had to take over behind the car. There you go. Not sure which. Oh no, does this friendly fire on us? Hello. To 
we have to go back through the closet. I I would have thought it would make it just go through here, but maybe we just go back through the portal. It's my only guess. Oh. What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry, this is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. I don't know if this is the reality I want to go back to, though. You know. Unless they experienced it, too. Wait, are they dolls now? Dad, Mom, you're free now. Oh. You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar. You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? What about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a whore, you're lowering yourself even below that. Jesus Christ. One more word. Fine, you and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. What the fuck, man? Why didn't our mom take us, though? If our mom's gonna take us if he doesn't move out, why wouldn't she take us now? Jesus, settle down. seeing this no 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 this cannot be true i'm very sorry ron the closet i think you're able to open it now what the fuck it's us this is me why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick, tock, boom. All the memories disappear. You once again wake up at the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? 14 days. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room.
Jesus. Go home with me, Dan. <laughs> so we were tormenting him in purgatory or whatever. Holy fuck. And that makes sense why the doll's neck was like that. That's so fucking wild. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only home late at night. But if it's daytime... Son. Wow. Man. Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? You just drop something, ma'am. What is that? It's a motel card. But I'm not sure it's mine. Wow. That was so fucking good, actually. Killer father arrested. That was actually, I might have to say, incredible. That was a phenomenal story. Damn. So, that was bad parenting. Uh, <laughs> that shit was dark. That shit was real dark. I had no idea what I was, like, expecting when I was going into this. But it definitely wasn't that. And I'm kind of just, like, shocked. When these games take these super, super dark routes... It's like, I don't know, it's it's just wild to see and wild to play. So truly, this was fucking fantastic. By the looks of it, with it being like Bad Parenting 1, I'm assuming it might be like an episodic type thing. And if so, hell yeah. If not, please make it that because I want more stuff like this. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoy little old me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never ending backlog of horror games that you're gonna be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror suggestions, please let me know down in the comments because I am always open to expanding this never ending list. So until next time, bye.